Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be overviewing one of the most profitable low powered crypto miners currently out on the market, the Planet Watch Equino Type 1. But before you think about purchasing, there are a few key factors to consider, and I will run through all of them within this video. To start off with, if you are not familiar with the Equino Type 1, it is basically a device which is placed outdoors to measure air quality data such as nitrogen dioxide, air pollution and so much more. This data is then sent back to the Planet Watch team and then they reward you in Planet Watch tokens. These Planet Watch tokens can then be exchanged into your native currency such as dollars, pounds, Australian dollars and so much more. The way that Planet Watch benefit from this business model is that they take this data and then they sell it on to entities such as government organisations, who can then use this data to empower sustainable environments. Once you set this device up and plug it in, you literally don't have to do nothing, but sit and earn money on a daily basis for providing data. Currently the maximum rewards you can get for running an Equino device is 133 tokens per day which is around $26 at the time of this video. I know it sounds very profitable, but there are very important factors to consider. So let's break them down. Number one, placement. To earn the maximum number of rewards, you all have to place the Equino device in the perfect location. Thankfully, you can check this by accessing the Explorer map online. If you zoom into your location, you are able to see that the map is split up into pixels. You would ideally want to place your device within a pixel that has no other Type 1 devices within it. In theory, if you are the second Equino device within the same pixel, you will earn 10 times less rewards, which already makes the purchase not worth it. The second point to consider is the tier pixel. If you toggle the tier 1 pixel on, you can see that many pixels are highlighted in purple. These usually tend to be highly densely populated areas. If you place your device within a purple pixel, you will earn rewards for that tier. If you place them within an empty pixel, also known as a tier 2 pixel, you will earn 50% less. A good tip would be to have a few locations in mind. Just in case your Equino Type 1 arrives and your pixel has already been taken, you have an alternative location to install it. Number 2. The project. You have to believe in what Planet Watch are trying to achieve. Currently, the project is still in its early stages and they need to partnership with many, many more companies before they see any mainstream recognition. There are many established companies outside the decentralized crypto space who currently supply air quality data to government organizations, such as IQ Air, which is a Swiss-based company which has been around since 1963 or Breezometer, which is a company which supplies air pollution data to Apple's weather app. Planet Watch do have a unique business model, but I think they never anticipated how quickly the company can grow. This is causing them to make rational and quick decisions, such as halting all Type 4 sales of licenses. This is because they want the company to grow in a balanced way. This type of behavior will lose some of the trust of the community, and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Number three, saturation. When Planet Watch started, they hardly had any Type 1 devices on the network. Approximately 410,000 tokens a day are distributed amongst Equino Type 1 lead sensors. As the maximum distribution to sensor owners is 133 tokens per day, the remaining tokens that are not distributed are put into a piggy bank, also referred to as a recycle bin. According to the Planet Watch white paper, once there are 2,459 Type 1 lead sensors on the network, Planet Watch will start to use the tokens in the recycle bin to reward additional sensors joining the network. Currently, there are over 100 million Planet Watch tokens in the recycle bin. Once these are all distributed, the rewards for all Type 1 lead sensors will decrease. The only time they will increase is when the data is being sold by Planet Watch to big corporations. Then the recycle bin is topped up with 40% of the revenue from the sales. We are only two or three weeks away from Type 1 sensors being rewarded from the recycle bin. Knowing exactly when rewards will decrease for Type 1 devices is truly dependent on how fast sensors are going to be onboarded onto the network. Which brings me on to point four, wait time. If you make a purchase for a Planet Watch Type 1 license, you will be put into a queue to receive an Equino device. Currently, the wait time is around 4 to 6 months, and this has to be taken into consideration just in case a bear market arises or the recycle bin has been emptied. So, what are my final thoughts? 
The Aircrino device is very profitable, however it is expensive and if you are not a lead sensor within a tier 1 pixel, it's going to take a very long time to get your return on investment. So I only think it's worth the purchase if you're going to be gaining maximum rewards. In terms of the company itself, they are very transparent with their community. Their CEO holds AMAs every single week, which goes through the strategies of the company, the updates and what's going to be happening next. So what are your thoughts on this device? Is it worth the purchase? If you found value from this video, please do give it a thumbs up, stay subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.